Hello friends, in this lesson we will talk about schedules of Indian constitution. You see, in the original constitution, there were 8 schedules, but presently we have 12 schedules. So let's begin the schedules. First schedule, names of the states and their territorial jurisdiction. And uh, you can say in the first schedule, uh, names of Union territories and their extent, you will find. That means simply you can say in the first schedule, there is a uh, name of states, there is names of states and their jurisdiction, and names of Union territories and their jurisdiction and extent. This is the thing you should remember. Now we will talk about the second schedule. In the second schedule, there is a provision relating to emoluments, allowances, privileges like President of India, Governors of State, Speaker, Deputy Speaker of Lok Sabha, Speaker, Deputy Speaker of Legislative Assembly, Chairman, Deputy Chairman of Rajya Sabha, Chairman, Deputy Chairman of uh, Bidhan Parishad Legislative Council, even also Judges of Supreme Court, High Court, CAG. So you, will, you, will, you should remember in second schedule there is emoluments or allowances privileges. Now we will talk about third schedule. Uh, in third schedule, you will find forms of oath and affirmations like union ministers, members of parliament, members of state legislature, judges of high court, right? Uh, state ministers, controller general, how they will take oath and uh, oath and affirmation you will find in third schedule. You should remember. The so first schedule is uh, about your uh, Names of states, union territories, their extent. Second schedule, allowances, privileges. In third schedule, there is oath. Fourth schedule, allocation of seats in Rajya Sabha to the states and union territories. How many members will be uh, representing states and uh, union territories? That is in fourth schedule. Fifth schedule, provision relating to administration of uh, schedule areas and schedule tribes right administration and control of schedule areas and schedule tribes in six schedule in six schedule we have provision uh, relating to administration of tribal areas in the states of assam meghalaya tripura mizoram so in assam meghalaya tripura and mizoram how the tribal areas will be administered that is mentioned in sixth schedule Seven schedule. So in seven schedule, you will find list. That means you can say division of powers between union and states in the in terms of list. There are three lists: union list, hundred items, originally ninety-seven items; state list, sixty-one items, originally sixty-six items; concurrent list, fifty-two items, originally forty-seven items. Let's discuss uh, about union list. Actually, in a union list, center has exclusive power to make laws, and in state list, state has exclusive power. However, in case of concurrent list, both center and state, they have power to make laws. This is the thing you have to remember. Now we'll talk about eighth schedule. In eighth schedule, there is language. Originally, we had 14 languages. Now we have 22 scheduled languages. So question may be asked. So you should remember this. In each schedule there is language. You see, suppose we had 14 languages. How it became 22 languages? You see, in uh, 1967, by 21st amendment, Sindhi was added. Sindhi as a language was added. So 14 plus 1, 15. Again, in 1992, in 1992, under 71st Amendment, Konkani, Manipur, Nepali, three languages were added. So 15 plus 3, 18. Again, in uh, 2003, 92nd Amendment, 2003, four more languages were added. Like you can say, Moithli, Bodo, Dongri, and Santhali. So 18 plus 4. 22. So we have 22 schedule languages till the date. So we have discussed 8 schedules. Originally, Indian constitution had 8 schedules. 
now we will talk how other four schedules were added you see ninth schedule was added by first amendment in 1951 ninth schedule deals land reforms and abolition of zamindari system right now 10th schedule 10th schedule related to uh, grounds of defection that means you can say which is popularly known as anti defection law 10th schedule was added by 52nd amendment act 1985 and it's related to anti defection law or you can say simply uh, how the members of parliament and state legislature can be disqualified there is a provision in 10th schedule now we'll talk about the 11th schedule in 11th schedule there is panchayat raj it was added by 73rd amendment act 1992 11th schedule was added by 73rd amendment act 1992 then 12th schedule 12th schedule was added by 74th amendment act 1992 it deals about municipalities right i hope you got this point so there are 12 schedules in the constitution of india till the date and you should remember it properly so that you can answer all questions wish you happy learning thank you very much